What's up everybody? Today we're going to continue the Mercedes build and let's get this thing started. Okay, so before we start anything, I want to talk about something that's pretty annoying on all my videos. And uh, this goes after me watching my own videos and being, hold on, being annoyed, you know what I mean? Um, I know, just hear me out. I know sometimes I can be monotone. I know sometimes I can talk a lot and it gets annoying, but I'm the type of person, for example, that watches DIY video. And if I watch the video, by the end of that video, I want to know every step, how to do whatever I'm trying to do and learn it and figure it out. <laughs> I've been watching some of my older videos and I am, I myself know that I am a little boring to watch and I'm sorry, I try, but it's who I am. I like to explain things very deeply, but from here on out, I'm not really going to do videos like that anymore. I'm not going to explain everything um, because, you know, being what YouTube is and where it's become in the last 10 plus years or so, there's a lot of info. There's a lot of DIYs. There's a lot of how-tos on how to do pretty much anything you can imagine now. So for that reason, unless I'm doing something specific to a certain car or unless I, asked, I get asked how to do something, um, I'm not going to be talking as much in the videos anymore. I'll explain things here and there. We'll kind of do... It'll be a lot of, not a lot, but time, <laughs> Ugh, this is what I'm talking about. See, I talk a lot and I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I'm going to try to talk less in my videos, do better explaining, but with shorter sentences, shorter words. I'm going to try to not be as boring and um, try to be myself. Please try to focus on what I'm saying, what I'm doing. Um, I'll try to make these as entertaining as I can. Um, yeah. Just felt like I needed to say that before we get this video started. Okay, so now that we're all on the same page with my boring self, let's go over this list. Um, I'm going to pop the camera off the stand and uh, we'll kind of talk about everything and then we're going to do an unboxing of all the parts that are already here, which is it's actually all the cool parts. Not all of them, but most of them. Let's get going with the list. All right, so let's go over this list. So the E320 build. So one of the things we're going to do, obviously, is the paint correction. And then the cool one of the coolest things, I think, is going to be we're going to do the C36 AMG body kit install. And uh, we actually, everything is ordered. It's, it, it comes with a front and rear bumper, side skirts, and it's going to be cool. So we'll, we'll get to that. And then we're going to do the AMG style three piece spoiler. I ordered that. That one's going to take a while to get because I believe it's coming out of the country. Um, we're doing rotors, pads, and stainless steel brake lines. We're doing coilovers, wheels, window tint, custom headlights, and taillights. Um, we're going to get rid of the interior wood. Um, the owner is not a fan of wood, so we're going to do something cool with that. We're going to debadge the car. All we're going to keep is the, the big Mercedes signs. Of course, you got to keep those. Um, we're going to get rid of all the chrome on the car. We're going to do the fog lights that fit the C36 uh, AMG style kit. We're going to do suspension refresh. That's going to be kind of part of the coilovers. We'll do, you know, I'll check all the bottle joints and bushings and whatever, and then we'll do that. And then we're going to do a custom front grille, which is going to be pretty cool. And then we're going to PDR. Well, probably the PDR and the paint correction will be one thing, but we're going to get rid of PDR is paintless dent repair, so we're going to get rid of most of the dents that we can on the car and make the body look as good as possible. So, that's going to be my list right there. That's pretty much what I'm doing. We might add some things here and there. I'm not saying this is... Man, the light reflections are so annoying. I'm not saying we're, you know, this is all we're doing, but this is all that we have listed for now. This is all that's on the list. So now, let's see what's right there, boy. Yes. Okay, so I started unboxing the brakes and realized they sent me the wrong stuff. So now I'm going to have to deal with that. We'll figure that out later. Let's get these coilovers unboxed right there. And then the wheels. Can't wait to show you guys this stuff. All right, let's get this done. These are heavy. Okay, so we went with, uh, it's called JVR. Let me see. JVR pretty much one of the only available things for this car here in the states um, these were not cheap <laughs> they weren't ridiculously expensive but they weren't cheap either so let's open these up let's hope these guys sent the right stuff right yeah, it looks like it. anyways let me get the camera closer these are some fancy boys Right here. 
All right, let's see what I can do with one hand. So these are obviously on this car, the, I think on the front or the rear, we'll figure that out, but the springs come separate. There's the spring, here, let me, you know what? Let me unbox everything, put it on the table, and then we'll look. Okay, so here we are. These are JVR coilovers, like I mentioned before. Let me get you guys a shot of the name right there. Oh yeah, and there's their website. That's not where I got them actually. I got them on, I wanna say Coilover Depot or something like that. Um, those guys sell BCs, these these things, and a bunch of other brands depending on the car that you have, obviously. These are the front shocks right here. These are pretty beefy, like they are nice. Um, these have height adjustability and they have dampening adjustability so you can make them harder, you know, stiffer or softer, whatever you want, for your own preference. And that's the little, uh, little tools that you put on top of the coilover to do that with. These are the springs. We have 20K on the front. So these are gonna be pretty stiff, but for this car, it's gonna need it, okay? So, and then these are the rear shocks right here with the springs and then for the rear, we have 14K springs right there. Uh, these are the coilovers. They obviously come with the adjustable, the adjusting tools, and uh, these are pretty beefy. And I'm, I'm pretty sure on this car, the front shocks and springs are two separate pieces. They don't go together, as in this being here. So it's, it's pretty cool how it works. Um, and then same on the rear. So yeah, that's actually pretty exciting. Can't wait to install these. But now, let me show you guys some wheels. Woo! Let's check these out. Okay, so I've obviously already opened these to make sure everything's okay. Are you guys ready for this? All right. Hey, let me get the camera a little closer. You guys ready for these? I'm assuming you might be able to tell what it is by the... Hey, let's just get to it, man. Let's stop wasting time. So they did come packaged up super nicely. You got a, a ring for the, the lip so you know, it doesn't get beat up during shipping. Woo. You guys ready for this? Ah, uh, yeah. So these, this is actually the front. And they have the little, so yeah, these are the fronts. As you can see, they got a Mercedes emblem right here. And then they do have these, let me see if I can show you guys, the AMG stickers. Well, these go right here. Of course we're gonna put them on, shoot. Why not, right? We're not posers, but that's freaking nice. And with the kit, I think it's gonna look pretty good. So that's the front. Uh, here, let me take it out. You gotta make sure everything's good. When you get wheels like this, obviously open them up right away. So the front are, let me, see, let me give you guys the exact specs. They are 18 by eight. I can show you that. Ah, whatever, I'll just read it. So the fronts are 18 by eight with a 35 offset, a positive 35 offset. You can see they have a pretty nice lip right here. Okay, so the fronts have a about two, oh, two and a quarter. So about two and a quarter front lip. They have a beautiful silver painted face. Beautiful polished lip here. I mean, they're obviously brand new and everything. And all the specs are on the back too, which is really nice. Um, these are not OEM wheels, obviously. They're replicas. I'm not about to spend $4,000 on some whack-ass AMG wheels that have a lip half the size. So this is what we went with. And this, again, this is the front. Let's open up one of the rears. All right, so before I open them, the rears are, the fronts were 18 by eight. The rears are 18 by nine with a positive 30 offset. Same great packaging. Again, I've opened these before, so the packaging is not another one of those little AMG stickers. Woo. Woo. Look at the lip on that sucker. Man, obviously it's the same exact wheel. Uh, beautiful silver painted face. And we got the beautiful polished lips. Look at that. I mean, I, I don't know what kind of stuff that shows, but yeah, so about about three and a half, about three and a quarter, yeah, about three and a quarter actually, lip. So again, these are beautiful, and these are staggered, which means the fronts are not as wide as the rears. You guys can check them out a little better right there. These are going to look so good on this car. Anyways, so yeah, we got a painted lip, I mean face, 
beautiful polished lips. I am going to have these ceramic coated before we even put tires on them. That way they can stay nice, fresh, and clean forever. Man, I hope you guys like these. Seriously. They're super nice. Okay, since you guys got to see the wheels, um, I feel like this video is definitely getting a little long. So I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. Let's bring the car in here and I want to at least test fit these wheels because we got to see how much tire we can put here. I know the car is not lowered on coilovers, but this will give me a good idea of if we can go straight sidewall, if we need a little stretch, a bigger stretch. We want to fit as much tire as possible on these. Again, the car will need it with its swap. So let's get the car in here and let's get up on some jack stands and let's test fit these wheels. Oh man, I mean, come on. Can you say perfect fitment? Look at this one. That is perfect. Yes, we will definitely be rolling these fenders here. There's a good freaking, I don't know, half an inch, almost an inch. We're going to be um, rolling these. Look at that fitment. Sucks it's tight in the garage, so you can't really see much, but let me see if I can get something from back here. Look at that. That's literally perfect. Perfect. The fronts are also perfect. I love how they sit. That is super nice. But the fronts will probably need like a little five mil spacer because actually they're actually pretty much touching that rotor. Or the caliper, I mean, the brake caliper, but... Woo! How good does that look? Look at this. Oh, man. That literally, that fits freaking perfect. And obviously, we can do a little camber on the, on the back, on the front, whatever we need. So this just tells me that I can go with a, uh, just a mild stretch on this. So we'll have to do some measuring have to do some research, look at some pictures online, see what tire and how much of a stretch we want to go. But imagine this a heck of a lot lower. That gap is going to be about here. <laughs> so yeah, same thing with over there. You're, you're not going to get into this gap. It's all going to be gone. And it's going to look amazing. Oh man, that looks so good. Perfect wheels for this car. Really glad the owner went with these. Woo! All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I know we didn't get to do as much as I probably wanted, but we went over the list. We test fit the wheels. Now we can get tire size measurements. Well, I know what I need. Um, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to start installing the coilovers. We're going to do a bunch of measurements and stuff, see where we're at now, where we'll be later. And then I'm going to go order tires. After I do some research, see some pictures online, how, what tire and how much of a stretch people are running, because now I know what I need, obviously. Um, we can roll the fenders if we need to. That's no big deal in this car. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I um, hope you guys are excited for what's to come for this car. Everything's going to happen pretty quickly. Um, the AMG kit is still on the way. I'm waiting for it. It should actually be here this coming week. The spoiler is, like I said before, I don't... I don't know, the, the tracking, it's it's coming out of the country, so it's it's waiting somewhere. Um, we also have the new headlights on the way, those were ordered 
Still waiting on those. Um, other than that, we're going to slam it, put wheels on it. Yeah, as soon as the kit gets here, we're going to install that. Front and rear bumper and side skirts. And uh, it's completely transformed this thing. And like I said in the first video of this car, we're going to paint match all the bottom half of it. It's a gray color right now. We're going to make the whole car black. We're going to do PDR and paint correction on the rest of it. You know, bring it to us as good of condition as we can. It's not going to be perfect, at least in 95. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to try to make my videos not as boring. <laughs> I'll try anyways. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing if you like what you see. Give me a thumbs up if you're excited about this. Um, if you do subscribe, hit that little bell. That way it notifies you as soon as I post a video. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. See you next time. I'm going to get to work.